Welcome back, friends. We're here today at a secret location in the Kennebec River Gorge. Now, normally I'm pretty good about giving out the locations where we're fishing, but I honestly would not recommend coming here. Um, the road in last year was terrible, and this year is way, way, way worse. We actually damaged our truck getting in. And coming down the embankment to get in here, the trail is um, sketchy, doesn't even begin to describe it. It's a uh, it's really rough and you honestly have to be in a really good shape and be really agile to even get down here. So we just got down here. It's almost two. Today they're doing a big release for the whitewater rafters. You might be able to see behind me the water's pretty darn high. So the rafters have finished coming through. I'm probably going to get um, a few casts in before it gets down. We honestly, everybody calls the low levels fishing levels. We've had way better luck with salmon when the water's high. Um, the brook trout, it's when the water's low. So uh, I'm going to get some casts in before it goes down and then uh, let it go down and uh, go I'll wait out after that. It's uh, a little too much to wait out right now. But uh, So since this is probably the last time we're going to be here, we're camping overnight. So I'm going to fish right up until dark and get up at sunrise in the morning and just make the most of it. So here goes. Oh, he's got a salmon. Sweet! First good one of the day. He's got a, bat, a real little bass, but... Hold her up before you put her back. Awesome! Whoop! <laughs> All right. Little guy. Good morning, friends. It's the second day here in the Kennebec River Gorge fishing. Yesterday, the fishing slowed down dramatically. You know, no hits for over an hour. Brandon gave up for the day. I stayed down here. And uh, in the last hour before dark, it did pick up. Um, I caught a salmon and a few bass, nothing super exciting, it was a small salmon, but it was nice to actually be getting some action. So I didn't film because my phone battery died, of course. Um, so I just walked upstream to an awesome place here. We've got some really deep water here just below those rapids up there. Um, it took me like at least 15 minutes to get up here. No, more than that. Jeez, it took me 20 minutes to get up here just because the walking's so treacherous. And it wasn't even a quarter of a mile. Um, but this looks phenomenal. And I wish I had more time this morning, but the water level is going to go up in two and a half hours from now. And I need to be back <laughs> by then. I think I'm just going to start over here. And I'll work my way back. Um, and unfortunately, my phone battery is pretty low right now. I charged it before I went to bed, but uh, it was pretty cold last night, so sadly, and I'll just start right here on this rock. All right, just working my way down the river, and uh, so I wasn't getting anything, and I got this guy. Not very big, 11 or so inches, but hey, happy with it. All right, so right in here, I just got two salmon. Um... How likely is a third right now, now that I got the camera going? And I'm twisted. So we're right below the white water. You can't see, but the white water goes, it goes on for a long, long time. And it's fairly deep in here. And that second one that I got, it came, um, right. I mean, it hit as soon as the, uh, lure hit the surface. That's pretty cool. Like it didn't quite come all the way out of the water, but I lost one of my sinkers somehow. I know I'm not casting so well. I'll give it a few more right here.
both of them bit down a little further than I'm currently casting. Try to get it to go the direction I want it to, a little further. Yeah, no, still not as far as they actually bit. downstream a little too. It's deep enough, it's not going to sink. But also probably spooked him. Maybe there was only two fish in here and I caught them both. <laughs> Fish are, oh, are you kidding? No, I got it. Let's see what I got. Oh, that's, I think that was a salmon. A little far away. If I got a third one in this spot, that's going to be pretty sweet. Come on. I think it is. No, it's a bit. Every time I got my camera on, I get a bass. Come on. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, all right, I'm going to hook this guy's, he's hooked pretty good. Turn the camera off and I got a nice brookie, the, uh, the way the light is, you can't really see the colors, but this guy is, uh, wow, he's turned color, he looks beautiful. Probably 10 inches, got to go back, not big enough to keep. One more little salmon, I'm bummed out I can't film, I can't film myself catching any of them because uh, my phone's almost dead. But, hey, they're all little, but it's all right. Salmon number five. Feeling pretty good about this. Welcome back to Kennebec River, day two, part two. Fished until uh, the water was about to come up. Way down in the gorge this morning. Went pretty well. Um, what did I get? Five salmon, one brookie, probably six bass. You know, missed a few. So we came up here for, we don't have too much time before we got to take off, but got a couple hours. Fished for about 15 minutes just off these rocks um, while the water was still high. And a couple times a brookie came right up from the side of the rock and came out of the water from my lure, but didn't actually take it. So now I'm just waiting for it to go all the way down so I can wade out and uh, hopefully add to my numbers of fish I caught today. Brandon is going to stay up further closer to the dam up there. Um, sadly, we've only got a couple hours and then we got to head home, but we're definitely not getting any skunk this weekend. Brandon says he's got a big one on. Sweet. We haven't gotten any big ones this weekend, so big one would actually be pretty cool. Oh, it's not big. But he's got a salmon. Little salmon? Oh, it's not that little. No, oh, I'm quizzing Alex on what it is. Is it a brookie? Yeah. Nice! Well, I guess so. <laughs> Nothing. You have what have you caught? Um, I probably had 20. Well, I guess that's it. It's time for us to head. We got nothing but two bass here. It's kind of a bummer, but it's so much better luck this weekend that that's okay. So, tell all our friends how your experience was here. Tell my friends? Yeah. Well, we had a good afternoon. We caught, what, probably eight or nine salmon, one brook trout. Probably had about 20 hits, lost a couple. Um, been a good afternoon. Um, hopefully we can keep on continuing to the fall, that we have a really good fall season with that. 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button.